course today. It's time for our two minute drill. Now joining us is Chris Harvey, the head of equity strategy at Wells Fargo Securities. Welcome, Chris. It's good to have you here in the OT. Great to be here. I'm looking at the picks that you like. You like banks, you like some reopening plays, capital goods, and you like some retailers. And you picked a bad day to have gap on your list. But nonetheless, you do, which is why I'm asking you about that first. And if you want to change your mind right here and now in overtime. Um, no, Scott, I, I don't want to change my mind. And when we talk about reopening, it's not just one stock. It's, it's a ton of stocks. It's, it's retailers, it's cruise lines, it's airlines, it's even energy companies. What we want to do is we want to be tied to the consumer spend. We want to be tied to services. We want to be tied to people spending on what we say um, experiences, not so much goods. And one of the things that we want to talk about with the consumer is the consumer is much stronger than many people think. The consumer has the ability to spend and they have the wherewithal. And I don't think the consumer is going to be denied. Right. As we go forward in time, we're seeing this from the banks. We're seeing it from the credit card company. People are spending on travel. They are spending on leisure and they continue to, to move forward in time. People are done with COVID and we think those reopening plays are the place to be. We think those You're COVID, uh, excuse me. No, I was going to say, you're not worried about sentiment falling, inflation still high, none of that having uh, an impact on, on consumer sentiment. I hear you on the airlines because, yep. you know, look, the, the CEOs of United and Delta have been about as bullish as you could possibly be. Uh, yep. But the environment can change rather dramatically quickly. That, Scott, that's right. We, we are looking at it. If you go through earnings season, right, we looked at the credit card companies, looked at the bank companies. And what they're saying is exactly what you're saying. We're being vigilant. We're watching credit costs. We're watching the consumer. We're watching for a pullback. We're watching for that trade down. We're not seeing it. Furthermore, what we are seeing is the ability, the capacity to spend more. And they're spending in a very healthy fashion. And we're seeing it across the board from the consumer. The only thing, only place we're really not seeing a ton of spending is on the t and &E side. But we think that will come back rather shortly as well. I see you have uh, some casinos as the ones you like uh, from your equity strategy. We're not worried about, are we, are we talking about casinos that have no exposure to Macau and, and China, given the, the shutdowns yeah. and, and the like there? That, that's right. The casinos we have on our list are U.S. They're, they're domestic. Um, they don't have exposure directly to Macau. Um, they're really Los Angeles, excuse me, not, not Los Angeles. They're, they're Vegas-based casinos. Right. Uh, I got you. And you also like uh, financials, too, uh, which are which are interesting. Obviously, the conversation I had earlier with with Chris Toomey, given rates and, and the economy, what ends up happening there? I got to say goodbye. We'll continue our conversation next time. That's Chris Harvey uh, joining us again uh, with Wells. Uh, he's the head of equity strategy at Wells Fargo.